Hey guys, Swiss here, and today I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some fancy snow terrain, and it is so incredibly simple, it's not even funny. Um, we're going to start out with getting a flint so that we can use GoBrush, and then later in the video, we will be using Fa. And basically, what we're going to do is we are going to click the flint, and then we're going to select our uh, volcano brush, and then I automatically already set the size, but you can have it go up or uh, down, however you like, and then I have the intensity at about nine, which again, can just go up or down, and then all of these settings don't need to be changed, and then you're going to just look down at the ground. I'm just going to spam this really quickly because I don't really care too much about like the overall look. I just need t some terrain to kind of show you um, what this is essentially going to look like. And now that pretty much all my terrain is formed after it nice and catches up with itself, I'm going to do slash rush one on one side, go to the opposite corner and do slash rush two. And then I'm going to do slash rush smooth. And then we are going to have it all nice and smooth. I'm gonna replace this with stone, which is just the numerical ID of one. And as you can see, it's now just a bunch of stone, which is something we're going to use um, to make our nice snowy terrain. We're gonna use the command smooth snow, and then we're going to pick a number. Now it's very important for you to remember that um, one is gonna give you a lot of snow, and 10 is gonna give you very little snow. So a nice in between is like five, and then you're gonna press enter, and we're going to wait for this to finish. And there we go. As you can see, it did a very nice layering and it does this really nice um, effect where it just uses the layers. Now, obviously this does uh, require a lot of calculations for well that it to do. So it's very important that you uh, do this in small sections in your terrain, um, or it might take a while, but again, just let it load. Um, you can do such a fast if you want the command to go a little bit faster. Um, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because if you do such rush fast, um, then it means that you cannot use undo, which is a very important thing to not make mistakes with. But just like that, you've now uh, made your um, terrain all snowy. Now, one thing that you can add um, to this snowy terrain is I'm gonna paste my clipboard um, and this is just a nice little spruce tree and I'm gonna kind of show you how to paste those around um, and a few things you can do with spruce trees to make them look all nice and wintry. Um, something that um, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do slash rush one to make the selection of the tree really quickly, just like that. And then I'm gonna get a bindable tool. Uh, I'm gonna to use a wooden uh, sword. And then I'm going to do um, slash rush BR copy paste, copy paste. Oh my gosh, I can, I can spell. Um, and then minus R. And what the minus R basically does is that it ensures that once you paste it, it automatically rotates. Um, and that is very, very important because as you can see, if I go and copy this, I'm just gonna do it at the base and I'm just going to paste it. As you can see, it's the exact same tree in the exact same orientation. Whereas if I do BR copy paste minus R and copy the exact same thing, I can spam it. And sometimes it'll be in the same rotation, but as you can see, it's um, rotating a little bit to be a little bit different. I still have this selected. So one of the things that I wanna do is make this look a little bit more fitting for a snow terrain. And right now there's no snow on the leaves. And how I told you guys to do it uh, a long time ago is just by doing it manually. That's stupid. And if you have a bunch of trees, that's gonna take forever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna G mask zero or air. And then we're going to replace above spruce leaves. And then we're gonna do snow. And then we're gonna put a little comma to add another ID to it. And then we're gonna do snow and then a little bracket layers um, and then two. And then we're going to make a little comma here. And then we're gonna do snow and then another thing and then layers and then three. And just like that, <laughs> sorry, one of my staff just fell from a high place and died. Um, and basically, as you do that, you can press enter and you can have a nice uh, tree with lots of snow variation. If you don't want that, you can just do snow and it's just that very flat first layer um, if you want. So you can kind of have those two different choices on how much snow is on your tree. Um, physically, obviously, you could have a lot more uh, snow on this tree as well by just 
uh, upping the numbers of these like three IDs. And it's, you know, really, really simple uh, to do that basically. So, you know, you can, you can kind of do however you want, but as you can see, you can add a lot more. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this and then we can gmask zero, which we already had, but that doesn't matter. And then you can go and paste your tree um, around the terrain. Try not to make it paste it right on the hills because otherwise you'll get this little error. So you'll have to come back and fix that yourself manually. Um, but just like that, you can add a bunch of trees to your uh, landscape and it'll look so much nicer and much prettier. Now, one other thing that you can add to the tree, just as one final thing, is if you want, um, you can do a GMask zero, which we still already had, and then we can replace under, which is this other bracket. So this was above and this is under. And what you can do is you can do under, under spruce leaves, and then you can do um, uh, 160.03, which is the numerical ID for light uh, blue stained glass. You could also just do light blue stained glass pane. Uh, but I hate doing that. And so instead I just do that because it's so much faster. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of zeros, which is just a bunch of air. So now it's gonna be 25%. Now it's gonna be 25% glass. And then it's gonna be 75% air. And just like that, you can now add some nice little icicles under your tree. Um, if you do a fix uh, connect, that's not gonna work because you have your G-mask on. So you're gonna turn your G-mask off and then you're going to do fixed connections. And sometimes um, you'll have these connect. So you, you might just want to um, uh, disconnect them and make sure that they're just these little um, spikes hanging down. And it just adds a little bit extra um, if that's what you're looking to do. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Super simple, super easy. Peace.